Yes, yes, hello everyone, welcome back into this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can be converting AI content into human generated content. As you can see, if I copy this text and also try to be checking out whether it is AI generated content, you can see how much percentage is this content now is going to be having. Let me paste it here and you see, if I check this content, you can see it's going to be producing various patterns it is that this content is generated by an AI. This is the fact that you see here. You can be able to check which content you can be able to remove, which content you can be able to adjust so that you can remain with the content which is only human generated. Now you may be asking yourself why to do this. So by doing this, you can be able to have 100% of the content which is generated by a human. You don't need to have the content generated by also an AI on artificial intelligence, you can do is a simple clicks and also be able to convert the text generated from ChatGPT into human generated content. Let's see how you can be doing this. As I'm having this also content, is the one that I'm going to be changing. Remember to subscribe to the channel, Nomax TV, like this video, share this with your friends, and turn the notification bell button so as you always get notified when you upload new video here to Nomax TV. To do this, you're going to be coming here in Google Chrome, also in the browser. Then you type AI, AI content change to human. You can be typing AI content change to human. If you type this, you're going to be getting various options here. Now what you are going to select is this one. You're going to be selecting this option, which is called plagiarism remover or this web platform. These are two that's going to be helping you to change or to convert the content generated from AI or from ChatGPT to human generated content. As you can see, it's called Free AI to Human Text Converter. Now, let me try opening this option. If I open this option, you're going to be seeing various options which are going to follow. First of all, you need to come here and scroll down. You can see I'm having the option here. You see? I have AI to human text converter. Time is a significant factor today. Everyone is looking for ways to save minutes. So that is very important here. It is going to be helping you to save your time. You're going to be copying the content from ChatGPT. I copy it here from here. I come and also put it here. You can see I have the option here to paste it in my content. You see you can post it about 1000 words for this content. So now let me paste it here. If I paste my content, I need to verify whether I am a human or so I need to verify my content. You have to fill out this number you see here. You'll be seeing the number depending on how many content you, you, you pasted there. For any content, you'll be having a number. After this, I hit on the convert option. After I think on the convert option, you have to wait three seconds. In three seconds, your content is, go is going to start generating. You see the, the content you paste it there, which is this one, original one. Also below, I'm going to be having the, uh, the, the generated content from a human. This content is the one also generated by human. As you can see, it's the, the content from this original one. Now, I need to wait a few seconds for this content to have completed. What is completed? What you need to do? I need to copy back this content and paste it again to where I pasted it. Once I check it, you can see I'm going to copy this content again and so come there and check whether it is still human generated content or it is on AI. So if I check here, you can see. Now let me bring it here. You see now I was having 65% of this content which is generated like AI. As you see, it is highlighted here, you can be able to change the options. If I paste this here, you can see, now I have to scroll down and check again my content. I'm going to see what I'm going to be getting here. Let's see whether there is something changed or not. You can see, now I'm going to have 100% of the content actually by human. This is a very important option because it's going to be changing the content into human related content but also it is not going to be changing the meaning of the content. It only changes the way the sentences are written, the way the sentences are arranged, the words that have been used, but also it doesn't change the meaning of the, the content you want to be producing. Let me again also produce another content here by ChatGPT. 
if I, I, I type, so I, I tell ChatGPT, for example, tell me uh, the tail importance of business, of business. So now, it, it is going to start originating the content. Remember, this content which is going to be generated here is going to be in the form of AI generated content. I want to take this content and change it into human generated content. What I need to do, I need to wait this content to finish generating. And once it is done, I have to copy it back and also bring it here then to check whether it is also human generated content. This is going to be helpful for you. As you may want to be converting the content from chat GPT into human generated content. You may be wanting to write, for example, 100 articles. You can be also using ChatGPT and generate content. Now let me now copy this content generated from ChatGPT and paste it there again and try to experiment whether it is going to be also an AI content. As you see, I copied it directly to from there. If I read this content, you can see, for example, let me check. It is going to be also removing everything. I'm going to be remaining with zero percent. I have to paste this content I bring, I put here. Now I have to check, I hit it on check AI content. If I check, also this is gonna be helping me also to ensure that there is a partial of the content which is from AI. As you see, this one is from AI, and also this one is not sure that it is from AI. So you can see, if I scroll down, you can see possibly an AI content. Now this tool is very important that it can be helping you to check whether the content is an AI or not. Also it can be helping you to check whether one paragraph is an AI or not. For example, let me see this uh, paragraph. If I, I see this paragraph, they are just uh, a few. Now it can be coming here and also remove this paragraph. If I remove this paragraph and check again, it is going to be reducing the percentage because I'm reducing the percentage of an AI in my content. You see it is now increasing. For example, if also I, I remove this paragraph, which is talking about innovation, you can see this innovation. Also, now it is going to be reducing again. So let me go, up, go at the top and also now remove this one. Certainly here, uh, yes, I can be removing this one. If I move this one and check again, you can see now the percentage of the content from Monea is going to be reducing from my content. So Remis, you see now it is going to be increasing as I move the partial which, which is shows that near your content. What I do, I need to come here and paste this content again. Also check it here. As you have seen, it is from AI, but also I don't want to be remaining with AI content. What I do, I have to paste it here again. In order to change it, I have to come here, scroll down, again use, if I hit on again use, which means I'm going to be using this content, this uh, tool again. I have to paste my content here, if I scroll down to the bottom, I have to paste my content on this option, up to 1000 words. Then I have to, to fill this number, after filling out this number, I can be able to convert. Now you need to wait a few seconds, for a second to start generating your content can see after this i can generate my content you can see the original content and also i have to start also receiving my my now or converted article let's now copy this article again and also paste it there then we see how this content is gonna be you can see you have to wait a few seconds it, it is done now converting and also you with your content which is unique so let's see now how it's gonna be done Yes, so this tool is very important because it's going to be helping you save your time. So you may be saving your time by this. Now let me copy this content as it has already converted. I paste it here again. Now you can see what I'm going to be having. For example, let me check. If I check, you can see now it is going to have also reduced on AI content. You see now I have 99%. So if you now you try to scroll down, you can be having the certain part of the content which seems to be from AI. If, for example, I move this content, I'm going to be remaining with 100% of the content. So there are just a few, not for example, Remy, 
remove this one. Society, uh, the society. This sentence is the highlighting. If I move this one, you can see I'm going to be remaining with 100% of the content from human because it has highlighted everything. If you are not accepting this, let me, for example, check with another tool, AI Content Detector. So, for example, let me check with this crosswalks. If I check with this crosspick, now we can be seeing what I'm going to be getting. For example, I have to copy my content here. After copying my content here, you can see I'm going to be getting the options. You see? Now, after copying my content here, I can hit on check. After hitting on check, you can see what I'm going to be getting. Either, you see now I have got zero, which means zero percent, which means the text is mainly written by a human. With this tool, you can be able to, to convert your content into human generated content. You can be able to generate the content from ChatGPT or another AI tool and you'll convert it into human generated content. As you can see, this tool is, is very important and is unique as you're going to be helping you highlighting the very a unique part which is from an AI content. You can be using a human plus an AI. It's going to be showing you. Also, it's going to be showing ChatGPT 3, ChatGPT 2, also, uh, also sorry, ChatGPT, ChatGPT 3, and also for human content. I can hit, click here also to be also showing you what, what a con, human content look like. And I can click here also to see what ChatGPT 3 content look like. For example, if I hit on, on this one, because it is also it has a freedom example, it is going to be giving me the result from ChatGPT 3. So whatever you can do, you may be able to see every details of formation of how an AI content will be looking like. Thank you for watching this video. This video is very important to you as school. It is going to be helping you to check whether content is from an AI or not. Remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel, Max TV. Share this video to your friends and turn the notification button so as you always get notified when I upload a new video here at Normax TV.